The study followed more than 650 patients in the UK who'd been treated in hospital with severe COVID. Six months on, two in three were still experiencing symptoms, including heart and lung problems such as shortness of breath, fatigue, gut issues, anxiety, depression and brain fog. The researchers analysed their blood and found these proteins, which are markers for inflammation of the immune system, which are useful while the body is fighting an infection, but not once a virus is gone. The scientists say there's strong evidence that long COVID is caused by different types of post-viral inflammation. I think this is really exciting for us. It's the biggest study of its kind. It's taken a long time for us to get this far, but it is finally pointing to some very specific um, pathways that might be underlying long COVID that could be targeted in future trials of treatment. Now, this is Tracy Evans. She was a care assistant before contracting COVID in early 2021. Tracy ended up on a ventilator in hospital and three years on, she still can't work due to a raft of long COVID symptoms. I have fatigue so bad. Um, even just changing a pillowcase on a bed is it's breathless. Uh, I can't walk far, even to a local shop, which isn't far. I can't walk. Uh, I have shooting pains all over my body. I've got really bad brain fog. I forget what I'm saying. I forget what things are. Uh, so if somebody's talking to me, I can just stare at them blank. A blood test to help diagnose long COVID is still some way off. But it's hoped this research could eventually lead to new treatments with existing drugs being trialled to target areas of the immune system which are triggered by long COVID.